But yeah, this will be my first actual mural. I think I've, I'm starting to get stressed <laughs> about painting it because I know technically like the rhythm of making a big painting that's six feet or eight feet. But when you're talking 25 feet, I, I don't know how that's gonna work. This is kind of just what I found as big brushes. <laughs> and then I'm thinking if this thing's 25 feet, like it's gonna take a lot of brush strokes just to fill it, you know? I kind of drastically shifted the image that I'm going to be painting like down to the wire at the last second because I felt like conceptually the imagery that we agreed upon wasn't exactly aligned with what I wanted the mural to say. So now that I've, I've gotten approved like the painting I really wanna make, now I'm more excited about the content. Like yesterday I was freaking out about that, like wanting to make sure it's the best image possible. And then now today I'm like, I gotta freak out about the technical stuff. Okay, now I'm getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> this wall is amazing. I'm so excited to paint it. Oh my God. I do is the paintings but then there's always like this whole other part that's equally if not more important than the final result which is the process and the intention behind the work but I had a professor that said it's really important to paint democratically which he meant that each part of the canvas is always as detailed as every other part so you're building up the layers kind of as you go and you're sort of starting the painting with like giant blobs of color and then as the painting progresses everything like at the same time becomes more detailed. It's sort of like it comes into focus. The process is like in the first hour, I try and cover the whole canvas with just giant blocks of paint. And then I'll just start narrowing down and putting smaller splotches of paint until it becomes really detailed. Yeah, at first when I started this mural process, it felt really daunting and I had no idea what to expect and thought it would be such a different process and I was afraid I wasn't ready for it. Um, but now that I've been working on this thing for two days, I realized that it's just painting <laughs> and I got this. So I'm feeling really pumped and like it's all, it's all gonna work out and come together and it's just the same as making any other painting. Just it's the size it was always meant to be. <laughs> I was driving up to paint the mural this morning and then I saw the mural from the freeway and I like freaked out to myself. I had no idea you could see it from the freeway. And then I turned left on Columbia and could see it as I was driving up and that's just really wild to know that something I created is gonna be part of the landscape of one of my favorite neighborhoods in San Diego. It's like, it's a painting in the clouds, you know? <laughs> I've always had this dream that I would have a, a blue house on a hill that was the same color blue as the sky so that it like blended in on a really nice day. And I feel like this is, this painting is gonna be that, that thing for me. <laughs> The model in, in this painting, I've actually painted quite a few times in my last series, and her name's Crede, and she's just this badass, strong yoga instructor. Has really just been my muse as of the past year or so. I think I've painted her six or seven times in the last year. I first met Sarah, well, she messaged me on Instagram and she was asking to work together for this shoot that would possibly be a painting. Like, I had no idea <laughs> that it was gonna be like a series of paintings. I'm almost like coming like to tears now because this woman came up to me and she was like, 
my daughter sees this painting. She's like, mom, this girl looks like me. And I'm just like, touch me, you know? Cause that's, yeah. <laughs> it's really special. Appreciate you, Sarah. <laughs> created paintings before that were like site specific like I'll paint something in my studio and then I'll install it in a space but I've never painted a site specific painting in the site that it's going to live forever and I had no idea how telling and how instrumental that process would be to the creation of the actual painting so making this mural 25 feet like up in the sky with airplanes flying overhead and nail guns and constructions going on across the street is just, it's this full body experience and I'm just loving it. I have a really clear memory of being two years old and painting a rainbow on a play school easel and deciding I wanted to be a painter when I grew up. And my entire childhood, I was always like the painter or the, the artist of the class. <laughs> All I wanted to paint was rainbows then and <laughs> now I'm painting this giant rainbow goddess on this wall. Godson, Hudson, is so obsessed with airplanes. And it's amazing how this two-year-old child can recognize things that I don't even notice anymore. Like he, he'll, he'll notice the sounds and he'll like perk up and point to his ear and be like, oh, up, up, airplane. Got it, up, up. And there's just something so amazing that such a small person can teach me so much about appreciating magic and just knowing that how much he would like all these airplanes overhead is, has completely shifted my experience being up here and hearing these airplanes. And so because of that, I wanted to really reflect that magical experience of being part of your environment and reflecting your environment um, by painting this airplane in her glasses. For this film, I was asked to send in videos of myself while I was painting as a kid. And so I got to have the experience of like reviewing baby me with the same amount of zest for painting and drawing as I have painting this mural. And I realized, I mean, first of all, I realized during the painting that I wanted it to be about my godson Hudson and I was inspired by his zest for and um, observance of the magic in life. And I wanted to portray that and sort of honor him through this piece. But then in watching those videos of myself at his age, at two years old, being obsessed with drawing and painting, it really came full circle for me and made me realize, oh, this is why I'm taking his obsession with airplanes so seriously. Because in my own lived experience, I have been obsessed with one thing and let that drive and inform you know, my entire life's work. So I think I found a name for the painting. The painting is going to be called, May You Always See Magic. When Hudson was really little, every time he would sneeze, he would crack up. And his parents would always say as like a blessing to him, may you always think sneezes are fun. <laughs> so now that he's a little older and, and coming into himself and he's starting to really develop his interest, but he's still, he sees so much beauty and magic and the things that bring him joy. I decided to name the painting as sort of a, a blessing for him that may you always see magic. I think the painting too, I realized throughout creating it, and I only am really aware of this at this stage in the painting process, is that it's about scale and perspective. It was a different perspective for me to paint six stories up. It was a different perspective 
you know, for me to be painting with that view. And then also the, the content within the painting is about her perspective. It's about the reflection that she sees in her glasses. And it's about seeing the world through a lens that allows for magic and beauty to come in. So when you're eating lunch, you sit back and what do you do? Just look at my mural and I decide what needs to be done. Like right now I'm realizing that the right side of the water looks screwy and needs some assistance. One challenge of painting a mural is you're so you know, up, up in its business that you can't step back enough to really see what you're working on, especially if you're up in the scaffolding. You kind of just have to paint a whole thing, hope you've got it right. The hand that's outstretched, I worked it and worked it and worked it and got all the detail and I was so happy with it. And then I stepped back and realized it's too big. Let's try this again. And you just don't know until you get it right. It's done. Woo. Woo. There's something so beautiful about the rhythm of working in accordance with the sunrise and the sunset. And I experienced that painting this mural and never before and never after <laughs> where I needed to wake up earlier than I ever do so that I could get my yoga in and then make it to the mural so I could paint all day with no interruptions until the sun went down and I couldn't paint any longer. But like the intensity needed to come to an end. Like it could only last for so long because I felt so incredibly driven for the entire time that I was painting the mural. And then now that it's it's finished, I kind of feel like, oh, hey, Sarah, there you are again. You know, it's almost like I was outside of myself for a while while I was doing this project. When we first started this process, I was packing up my studio to take everything to the mural, and I was like so focused on that new chapter, and now my studio is cleared out and I'm packing up to head off to London. So it just feels like everything's kind of come full circle in such a short amount of time. Being in my studio now at this transition period where I'm heading to London and then going to sort of start developing a new body of work when I return and being in these open walls, it, it really um, like screams the sense of possibilities to me. Throughout my art, I think a lot about magic. It's an active practice of noticing the beauty in things. And then it's also like an intentional choice to not just notice, but, but create what it is that really that you want to see in the world. We have this like unique opportunity to be living human beings in the earth and like there's so much possibility of things we can create and like things we can appreciate and things we can enjoy and we get to discover and know ourselves and I think that screw all the other stuff and just you know really and embrace what what life has to to offer and roll with it you know get inspired and make stuff and and I just think it's a hell of a lot more fun to see the world for the beautiful magical rainbow mystery that it is <laughs> and to like play within it and to explore and to to make something in you know in this short time that we have here and, and to me that's what magic is that's why it's just a better way to live life just make magic <laughs>